Hi everybody, it's Mayor Betsy back with you this afternoon. Thank you for joining in and watching and listening today. I know you're probably getting tired of updates, but you need to know the truth is we're monitoring this situation on a 24 seven basis and we will be reporting to you around the clock if need be, but certainly every day between 4.30 or 6, depending on when it is. As new changes come forward, we want you to know about those because they definitely impact your life. So let me take just a minute once again to say thank you to those who are out there on the front lines. Whether you're a hospital worker, whether you're a code person, whether you're police, fire, or city employees doing essential services like your water, whatever you might need, they're working hard on your behalf and trying to stay safe so they go home to their families also. <clears throat> Today I've been in contact with all of my fellow big city mayors and we've discussed the need for potentially tighter restrictions in response to the COVID-19 fight that we have. Governor Abbott made it clear yesterday that a move towards a shelter in place or something along that line would not be made at the state level, but rather it would be made at the community level with county judges and big city mayors and other mayors. Big city mayors, we know to protect our communities, we must act. And we believe that a coordinated response is critical in this stage. So we're working with all of the big city mayors and the big city county judges and their attorneys and city managers to come up with a solution that will help us all. It's tomorrow morning, you will have a coordinated message from the big city mayors and the county judges in response to COVID-19. Because we know that urban communities are denser in population and people are at greater risk of significant spikes for the transmission in this virus, that also has the potential to overwhelm our healthcare systems. I wanna once again thank everyone who has worked so hard to keep this community safe and to help us with these restrictions. You all have been amazingly good at following the guidelines that we put out over the weekend. Let me be clear, there's more to be done, but you're doing great. Please don't go to the grocery store and load up on everything. There's no need to panic shop here. And when you go to the grocery store, try to restrict it to one family member so you're not getting too much density and you can keep social distancing. Remember, we've been in contact with all our grocers here in the city of Fort Worth, and they tell us they're stocking all day, every day. They have plenty of food. And starting tomorrow, Albertsons, Tom Thumb, and Randall's will open early with access for seniors pregnant women, and anyone who's medically compromised. Tuesday, Thursday mornings, they'll be open from seven to nine for those who need to be a little less contact. And Whole Foods is open daily for that same group from seven to eight a.m. It's not a mandate that you go during that time if you're in that group, but it's a strong recommendation you also need to know that our Fort Worth firefighters will be there to help you carry out your groceries or whatever you might need. They'll provide assistance. That's just one of the examples of how our employees are coming together to help and how our businesses have become incredibly strong and even stronger community partners during this time. On that note, I'd like for Brandon Bennett to come back He's been with us this week and last week, most of the time. He's gonna talk a little bit about working with our area businesses. Brandon? Good afternoon. Uh, there's been a lot of conversation about what is an essential and, a, and an unessential service. And, and this is no different than perhaps uh, the conversations we've been having about the number of people that can gather together. Uh, you can kind of find that, that same logic and that is, the better job that you do to isolate yourself from strangers, um, the better job that you do to isolate yourself from 
sick family members, sick coworkers, the less risk there is to you and your health and the less risk there is for transmission of this virus. And so, as the mayor mentioned, city of Fort Worth working with other cities in the area and uh, the county judge, uh, we continue to work on declarations that uh, limit the number of contact that folks are having, particularly right now as we move into probably one of the more significant time periods, the next two to three weeks, particularly the next two weeks, that uh, we have to make sure that, that we are isolating folks in such a fashion that this virus does not take a foothold like what has happened in other parts of the world. And so uh, with the upcoming, the current declaration and the upcoming declarations, you'll continue to hear the word essential business and non-essential. So, you know, think of essential business as places where you would go and get food, where you would get health care, it's your fire service, your police service, ambulatory services, critical infrastructure, uh, and other things. And then you think of non-essential, well, retail clothing sales would be non-essential. Uh, entertain entertainment venues is another one. And, and the list is, is pretty lengthy on both of those. In the coming days, as early as tomorrow, uh, I think there's going to be a lot more conversation about essential and non-essential and that the business community is going to have lots of questions. And so we set up, uh, started at 8 o'clock this morning, a call center dedicated solely to answering these questions. And so you can go to the Fort Worth website, to our homepage, and, and then link to the COVID-19 page. Uh, you can send your questions to COVID-19 altogether at fortworthtexas.gov or you can call 817-392-8478 uh, and we have uh, customer service representatives that will be there to answer your questions. I, I encourage you to use the website, to use the email, to use the telephone number and, and let us help remove some of uh, maybe the confusion that will come with the upcoming declarations. So thank you for all that you have done uh, and continue to do to, to keep our community safe. Thank you, Brandon. We know this is confusing, folks. Heck, it's even confusing for us occasionally, but we are all going to get through this together. It's a decision that we monitor day by day, hour by hour. You are, as I said earlier, providing great compliance. We just ask that you get a little bit tighter on how much you're out and who you're around. Fort Worth is launching a public awareness campaign. Share the message with your family. It'll be posted today on my page so you can share it. We'll get through this. Fort Worth stands strong. We'll do it together. Y'all stay safe, y'all stay healthy, and y'all stay home. <laughs>